welcome to this presentation on dust storm. My name is Noah Jalvis Doucette, as you probably already know. This presentation will help you prepare in the event you are ever caught stuck in a dust storm. It will tell you about how dust storms are caused, what effects they can have on the human body, and how you can prevent those effects from happening to you or your loved ones. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Such as the one you can see here engulfing this town is usually caused when, when in a dry area, a large wind blows over sand or dust, causing much of it to go up into the air. This, is usu this usually occurs in arid or semi-arid areas with the winds mixed with the climate causes the dust to rise and create a seemingly wall, as you can see here, of dust. The wall can reach almost up into the mid-atmosphere. It is a very dangerous wall, which not only carries dust, but can also carry certain viruses, which we will discuss later. In this video, you can see some of the catastrophic effects a dust storm has. It creates an essential wall of dust, carrying some, bad, some toxins for you, that are bad for your health, and can even cause viruses such as pneumonia. This dust storm, as you can already see, is creating a wall so thick that you can't even see through it. The dust storm has engulfed everything behind this certain wall. You can see here that the dust seems to be a very, as very thick. This dust storms are common in regions such as Arizona, as there is a high concentration of dust from the Mojave Desert. Image: The dust appears to be covering the houses that you can see here. This is because the dust is actually covering them. The dust is going so fast and there is so much of it that the dust actually blows over the houses, causing the houses to be almost engulfed inside of the dust. This can be very dangerous as the dust, if moving fast enough, can break windows and knock down walls, meaning dust could get absolutely everywhere in your house. Not good. In the world, Dust storms are most common to occur in areas such as the Mojave Desert area, Arizona, San Francisco, etc., and the West Africa Peninsula, right around here. These areas are most likely for dust storms as they are dry, arid regions containing large deserts full of dust and sand. Now, let's do some review. First off, to have a dust storm, there must be a dry, arid, or semi-arid area like a desert. There also must be hot or inclement weather, a large area of sand or dust, and strong winds, usually over 30 miles per hour. This is what causes a dust storm. Imagine that this little Lego figure right here is a person. Now also imagine that this person is trapped in a dust storm. What would this person do to survive? Well, first off, you would cover up his mouth. Because, by covering your mouth, that means that most of the dust will not get into your lungs. This is the least effective way to protect yourself, but at least it is protection. You would also cover his eyes, because by covering his eyes, that means no dust can get into his eyes. If dust gets into your eyes, it is very irritating and can cause some long-term effects, such as blindness or vision loss. Now, say this person has a helmet, like, or a mask like the one I am holding in my hand right now. If I just put this on the person, that means that he is now protected from a dust storm, as no dust can get into his eyes or clog his lungs. Now, if, you, if dust clogs your lungs, it can even cause effects such as pneumonia and heart diseases. We will get more in depth than that later, though, however. You will need one of these items to stay safe, a mask with some antibacterial ointment on it may help you, but you will still need something to cover your eyes. A gas mask is possibly the best ch choice if you are ever trapped in a dust storm, as it will filter the air and keep the dust out, as well as keep the dust out of your eyes. People that should take extra precaution are infants, children, teens, and the elderly, as well as people with asthma and other breathing problems. These are just a few of the people that dust storms can affect more. People like these should take extra precautions, as in if they're in an area where dust storms are common, consider purchasing a mask 
or something else to filter the dust out of the air, making it breathable for you. If your loved one is suffering from one of these diseases and is caught in a dust storm, make sure that you or they stay inside and do not go outside. Inside is the safest place during a dust storm, as no dust, or very little dust, will come inside. If you are inside during a dust storm, make sure to close all doors and windows so none of, no dust will get inside. If you are outside during a dust storm, try to seek shelter, and if you cannot, avoid hard workouts after the dust storm, as that may overwork your lungs, which may also already be filled with dust. If you are safe from a dust storm, if you are living by some mountains or some other large monument of sorts, is to see is to tell your visibility on the mountains. If you can clearly see the mountains with some detail, you should be safe. If you can if you can only see the outline of the mountains, take cover as a dust storm may be heading your way. And if you cannot see the mountains or whatever landmark it may be, you are in the middle of a dust storm. This can be dangerous as dust storms can cause multiple health effects such as pneumonia and asthma in the lungs and um, and, per and permanent blinding in the eyes. If you are caught in a dust storm, make sure to take cover. It has a number of health problems and even make some worse. Dust can clog up the lungs, taking up space for air. They can also cause problems such as pneumonia or flu in the lungs and asthma. The, all of these health problems are very serious problems. If you are in a dust storm, remember to wear a mask or a scarf with antibacterial on it to make sure these problems do not happen to you. Dust can also irritate or cause an allergic reaction to some. These can be even worse than the initial effects of asthma or pneumonia, as some reactions can be as bad as death. You have to stay safe in a dust storm outside of a car and outside of your house, for the most part, we will learn how to stay in the, safe in the dust storm inside of a car in these next several lessons.